Welcome back to Free Engineering Tutorial on Operating System. So in previous video, we had studied about protection and different techniques. Now in this video, we are going to talk about shared pages. So as you can see on in this diagram, you can see that there are three process, process 1, process 2 and process 3. Okay, so they are having their own page table. And one thing you can see is in common is that like frame number 3 can be shared with all the processes okay so as you can see that this process 3 uh, this frame 3 is here also here also and there, here also okay similarly frame 4 and 6 are also there in all the process and they can be shared among these process 1, process 2 and process 3. Okay, so this, this is known as shared pages where different process can share the different pages inside the memory. So as you can see that on frame number 6 we are having our ED3. Okay, and ED3 is being called by all the process. Okay, so by all process ED3 is being called. So for that we need not to have to give different frames like uh, we will give this ED3 in this also and just giving this as 9. So for uh, preventing from this functionality we are using our shared pages technique. Okay. So now in next slide we are going to talk about structure of page table. So there are different structures of page table we are here only discussing about two type of structures one is hierarchical paging and the other one is hashing okay so there are many techniques which are there in the book but i am selecting only these two functionalities one is hierarchical where the structure of page table is being divided into different hierarchies okay so if there are millions of records which are stored in physical memory then we have we do have millions of pages which are there in the page table okay so for getting millions of pages and their frame numbers we also need to have a different hierarchy okay so for that paging we also need one another page table okay so for a page table we need another page table so that's why uh, we are storing it in this format like 1 to 500 these page tables are stored in this another outer page table okay so uh, the entry is being given as that like this is 0 and this is 1 and like this is 500 okay or uh, any quantity you, you can name that so from here we can see that if we need any uh, like you can say that zero frame number so firstly it will check whether in which page it is present so firstly we can see that it is uh, present in 1 to 500 pages okay then we can go to the frame number so in this way different levels of pagings are implemented this is known as hierarchical paging it may be possible that there are other outer page tables also like this one is uh, you can see this say, say that this is a primary hash table or sorry this is primary page table and this is secondary page table there may be a possibility that there is one tertiary page table also okay so if there are a large number of records we may have different hierarchies of our page table too and in the logical address you can see that this p1 is the first or uh, means uh, outer page table content the second one is inner page table content or the third one is the offset okay now in hashed page table we are storing the addresses which are greater than 32 bit is address space and we are storing it in link list okay and our link list contain virtual page number which is the hashed quantity of our address and value of page mapped page frame because we need one page frame for uh, every page number where the data is stored or the resources or allocated processes needs are stored 
and the third one is the pointer to the next element in that linked address okay so in the linked list we need one pointer also to uh, denote the other or the future uh, node okay or the next node so for that we need one and the address or one pointer okay so for that in this way uh, hashed page table is implemented now talking about segmentation so in segmentation one segment table is being added where it will store the limit address and base address okay so it is stored in table okay and cpu every time when generate one logical address it will check whether it is smaller than uh, limit address or not if it is not so it will be uh, it will made as trap okay but if it is so then it will go further and will add to the base register as we are talking in our uh, first video of memory management so firstly it will generate one logical address it will go and check with the limit register okay if the condition is true okay if it is smaller than limit register then what will happen it will go forward and will add the base register to it and will go to the physical memory but if it is not so if there is a condition where logical address is greater than limit okay then it will raise a trap so in this way the things are being carried out and in the user's view of program a c compiler might create separate segment for the following so what a user sees is that a big stack where we are containing code okay so this is one uh, there is one variable part there is one heap part okay heap and stacks so as you can say that this are heap and stack and there are some c libraries also for a program so in uh, this way a user can see a program okay but the uh, yeah here you can see that this one is the users view okay users view and uh, a segment table and hardware is being implemented means uh, this segment table is stored in one hardware and we have to convert this 2d address in 1d sequence okay for that mapping is being done between segment base and segment limit so this is the segment base and segment limit from here we can see that uh, one is stored like uh, subroutine is segment 0 so firstly it will check that where the segment is starting like segment 0 is starting and, and you can see that base 1400 like this is 1400 and from here the segment 0 can go up to 1000 further okay 1000 MB further let's say the unit is MB then it will go or it can go 1000 MB further the limit is 1000 so that if the limit is 1000 1400 plus 1000 is 2400 now for the segment 1 the sqrt function so this is the function so as you can see that the limit is 400 and base is 6300 so we have to go to 6300 okay so here we are going and will store to the 6300 location till 6700 as we are getting our limit as 400 okay so limit is 400 so we will store segment 1 in 6300 location after that in the same way segment 2 is being stored at 4300 location till 400 locations 400 mbs and segment 2 is stored here in the same way segment 3 is stored on 3200 okay so 3200 base 3200 base and 40 uh, whatever 1100 so this 1100 is saved with the help of segment 3 and segment 4 will contain 1000 locations at 4700 so at 4700 we are getting 1000 MBs with the help of segment 4 so in this way hardware is being implemented and uh, all the paging is done so this is all about module 3 the slides which uh, I am using in this, uh, these videos you can get these slides from this video's link description. So this is the end of module 3 chapter. So see you in next module.
module 4 till then thank you